Hello, I'm Bernard Hickey from interest.co.nz and welcome to 90 at 9, brought to you in association with ASB. This is our morning briefing where we give you everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock, starting now with news that the Dow Jones Industrial Average closed up, yes up, 494 points late on Friday night. This was because news came in the late in trade on Friday that Barack Obama would appoint the current New York Federal Reserve Governor, Timothy Geithner, to the position of Treasury Secretary. Now this was welcomed by markets because he's seen as a safe pair of hands and also not a Wall Street fat cat. Finally someone's in charge, that was the thinking on Wall Street and that boosted stocks after a truly horrendous week. Meanwhile, Barack Obama over the weekend promised to create 2.5 million jobs to avert an economic crisis, he says, of historic proportions. Also meanwhile, General Motors has announced it will hand back two of its corporate jets. You might recall last week they went to Congress pleading for a big bailout, but they flew there in corporate jets. And so they've announced over the weekend they're giving back a couple. They still have five. And also, members of the G GM board are now saying that they will consider bankruptcy protection. We'll see how that goes. The oil price, meanwhile, fell below $50 a barrel US late on Friday night. It closed at $49.93, quite a milestone given that only four or five months ago we were looking at an oil price close to $150 a barrel. Here in New Zealand, the price of a litre of regular petrol is now down to $1.58 a litre down from $2.17 a litre as recently as July. That's down 27% in just four months. I'm Bernard Hickey. That was 90 at 9 for interest.co.nz, brought to you in association with ASB.